The dark clouds blocked out the sun's ray and snow fell down harshly on the Crystal Empire. The citizens either frozen or huddled together in the center of the city, Cadence and Shining laying unconscious in the throne room of the castle, their horns covered in the same black crystal that surrounded them. Twilight and her friends slowly backed away in fear as the monster made of black mist stared them down. With his haunting glowing green eyes, King Sombra smiled evilly as he watched them back up against the wall. The Pegasus wings froze to their sides. The unicorn's horns covered in black magic and earth ponies strength sapped by the cold and constant running. Twilight looked desperately for a solution, praying that her teacher would come to rescue her. The crystal heart floating just under the being made of mist in a taunting position. Well, 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 isn't this a turn of events? Sombra hissed wickedly. So, a moment I actually fought, you'd gotten the better of me. He finished with a manic laugh as he looked to the crystal heart. Look, look at this. So close, but so far away. This would have sent me back to the icy grave. But, thanks to your overconfidence, I was able to predict what you would do next. And that seems to have been your downfall. Twilight glared at the villain's attempt to cast a spell but was unable to. She just kept trying and failing over and over until Applejack placed a hoof on her shoulder and shook her head. In despair, the unicorn sighed, and the group wrapped their hooves around each other, praying for something to save them. Now, I will finish you once and for all! Sombra was cut in off mid-sentence when he heard the sound of a young stallion calling out to him, Eh, hey, Sombro! Is that you, dude? Sombra's pupil shrank in horror. Oh dear Solaris, no, he whispered in terror. It is you! You are really rocking the misty spells, whatever! The obnoxious voice called out. The main six looked over to the right to see a tall, thin stallion with light gray fur and a mane similar to Sombra's, only spiked and less mist-like. He wore a pair of white aviators and a red puffy hoodie that, with a backwards red cap on his head. Oh, for the love of... Hello, Sombrad! Sombra groaned as he rubbed his face in annoyance with his hoof made of mist. Sup, big bro? You still trying to take over this place of sun? Rad! The young stallions, now known as Sombrad, greeting with a smile as he looked around. Man, looks like these ponies really know how to chill. Sombra faced tooth and groan. <sighs> Out of the corner of his eyes, he caught the ponies trying to sneak away. He growled and created crystals to block their path. Oh no, I ain't done with you lot yet. Sombra, Sombrad looked at the mares, lifted his glasses and wa while smirking. Well, 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 you're still trying to build the harem of yours, cause these are some fine looking mares, bro. I'm a little jealous. What? No, they're my prisoners. And you know that was just a phase. Sombra barked in embarrassment. Why are you even here? Well, <laughs> Mom and Dad found out you finally got out of prison and wanted me to pick you up to take you back. <laughs> Sombrat explained while winking at the mares, only to be met with disapproving stares but everyone, by everyone but Pinky who winked back. For the last time, 
I moved out of Mom and Dad century ago. She's a go. Before I got banished to the eyes. They know this. Sombra took a deep breath and began counting the ten. Yeah. Well, dude. Mom and Dad don't really trust you on your own anymore, so they want you to come go and live with them until you get an actual job or whatever. I wasn't really listening. I was more focused on the mayor that lived down the street. And she was just a fine. She just looked fine in those te in that tennis outfit. Some Brad wiped his brow before adjusting his cap. I know you don't like them at all, and all, but come on, it'll be fine. We can go watch a movie together. What in Tartar is it a movie? We can go bowling with Dad. What with Dad? And best of all, we're gonna be roommates. Sombra's left eye twitched at the thought of having to share the, any kind of place with the hellish being known as his younger brother it was almost enough to drive him to madness. He took a deep breath and focused on the mayors. Let it go, Sombra. You've got shit to do. He glared at them and focused his energy on this horn, building up a huge blast of dry crystals. Ma hey, man! Count... Check it out! Yellow snow! Remember when we used to throw these things at those kids by the lake? Sombra exclaimed as he tried to get his brother's attention. Sombra ignored him and moved closer to the shivering mares. Oh yeah! I've got to show you some of these new skateboard tricks. You'll love these, dude. It's so awesome, you should try. Sombra's eyes twitched. Again, as he was ready to fire. Hey, Sombra. Bro. Remember when we used to use your shadow whatever to spy on those mares at the bathhouse? That was a riot. You really were a player back then, dude. Sombra finally snapped back. I told you it was a phase. Now just shut up for a sec. One goddamn minute, and let me kill these five annoying bullies! Summer's expression went blank. Wait, five? He turned around and saw Rainbow Dash was gone, and so was the Crystal Heart. Oh, you have got to be! A light, a bright light shined from the center of the Crystal Empire as, as a wave of light blue energy swept across the city. Sombra and Sombrad were thrown out towards the frozen tundra as a large crack of ice opened and closed once it, they fell in. Deep below the ice, the voice of Sombra was heard. Well, guess that means we're roomies now. Wanna play raids? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up!